Good morning, everyone, and happy TGIF Day. It's um, June 17th, 2022, and since it's still morning, I was super excited. And I'm in my mornings with Jesus. It's the first time I've read this in a while, so I feel like I'm reading a bedtime story, but it's in the after almost afternoon. About time for a nap. Do not swerve to the right or to the left. Turn your foot away from evil. Proverbs 4, verse 27. Riding clockwise in a British roundabout. I screamed when a car to my right sped right straight at us. The rental car my husband and I were in was hit broadside. Our English holiday began with a bang, literally. Wow, that'd be awful. Blessedly, the right front wheel re received the impact, not the passenger side where I sat. Our vehicle was disabled and our adventure continued with a ride in a British police car. Well, there you go. There's a silver lining. <laughs> Royalty, there you go. The constable humored me, turning on the revolving lights while I took pictures of my husband in a police car on the first day of our holiday. <laughs> no doubt. See what? Something that little. Look what it turned into. That's so awesome. That's what great stories are so about. Forget about those great stories. Everybody's so consumed with the dark. At our bed and breakfast, we tried to order a tow truck. That's when we realized we didn't know the location of the roundabout where we'd left the car. <laughs> oh boy. Our first day in a foreign country, we've lost a rental car. We set out on foot to find the abandoned car so that we could relay its location to the towing company. Eventually, we found it scheduled to tow, rented another car, toured the Cotswolds countryside, and recovered from the stressful day that began with a bang. And that's what it's like with God when you surrender to Him. I said, you're going to have this. And all of a sudden, it's just going to smooth out. And you won't know why. But eventually, well, you can't keep it in all the time. Motoring in a country with different driving rules is stressful. But not half as stressful as navigating through life without our universal driver's manual, the Holy Bible. When I first began enjoying mornings with Jesus and his word, I was overjoyed to discover the book of Proverbs. I know, planted another seed. That's what happens every time. It's rules for the road leading to life. Proverbs 6, verse 23 are applicable everywhere. Regardless of the side of the road, I drive on. There's that. Cassandra Tiersma, that was fantastic. What a great devotion. Home run. Now for the face step. Proverbs 4, 27 says... Don't turn off the road of goodness. Da, da, da. Ask Jesus to keep you on the good road. So, you know what? You, there's always certain things that you want to take with you. No matter where you go. Even in your car. You're worried about your keys and your makeup. But where's Jesus? Where's he at? He's just waiting for you on Sunday. He doesn't have a place with you today. Oh, I wear him. And I have him. I think at three spots. With his face. You gotta turn towards him. That's my best advice, and to be obediently holy right now and repent and do not go back to your wicked ways. If you are sinning daily, stop doing it. If you're getting drunk every day, stop doing it. If you want to drink, drink, but don't get drunk. I mean, there's, there's just, you need to be obedient to him. Tick tock. No time like the present. Just saying. So, hope you enjoyed my video.
stay tuned. I've got more coming up. Love to all. Bunches and bunches.